Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we will build an exciting project, implementation of RAP, a chatbot using Python, Langchain and Fice. This chatbot allows you to upload PDFs and ask questions directly related to their content. The answers are generated by combining the power of Fice and the Llama 3.2 model. Best of all, this project doesn't rely on external APIs or API keys. Everything runs locally, so we don't need any API key for this setup. Before diving into the implementation, let me quickly show how it works. We are running this chatbot locally with simple UI build using Streamlit. Let's upload a PDF containing the basics of computers. A 10-page document covering topics like input-output devices and CPU, etc. So let's upload this PDF and I will ask the chatbot what are the characteristics of a computer. The response is clear, well structured and aligns perfectly with the content of the PDF. When we compare this answer with the actual PDF, it is almost similar and it is well structured with points. Next, I will ask what are the types of software. Again, the chatbot provides a concise, accurate answer. Let's try with another PDF. This one is about GCP PubSub, a service by GCP. So I will upload this PDF and I will ask what are the use cases of PubSub. The chatbot list the use cases with brief explanation. Finally, I will ask how to integrate PubSub. It returns detailed steps directly from the document. This shows how versatile and accurate the chatbot is across various types of content. So that's all about the demo. Let's briefly look at the architecture. Fice Vector Database. This act as the backbone for storing vector embeddings. Fice. Facebook AI Similarity Search. It is a powerful open source library for similarity search. So the workflow is uploaded PDFs are converted into vector embeddings and stored in files. When you ask a query, it retrieves relevant chunks from files, combines them with the query and sends them to the LLM. The LLM processes the input and returns the answer. This process ensures precise context-aware response. Now we can look into the implementation steps. Let's break down the implementation into three simple steps. Step 1. Setting up Llama with Olama. To run the Llama 3.2 model locally, we use Olama, an open source platform for managing LLMs on your machine. Install Olama by following the instructions on their official website. Download the Llama 3.2 model using Olama CLI. Start Olama server to ensure the model is running. I have covered this setup in detail in a previous video which is linked in the description, you can check it out. Step 2. Installing required libraries. Next, we need to install the libraries needed for our project. Streamlit to build the chatbot's user interface. PyPDF2 for extracting text from PDF files. Langchain to manage the retrieval and question answering system. Sentence Transformers for generating embeddings using the model All Mini LM L6 V2. Files to create and manage the vector database. Olama to integrate with the Llama model locally. Using a virtual environment is recommended to keep your project organized. You can run this command to install all of these libraries. You may also need to run this command as well because while hugging face embeddings are part of the core Langchain library, some advanced or experimental features related to embeddings might be supported in the community package. Step 3 writing the code. Let's move on to creating the application. I have already written the script in app.py. Here is a high level breakdown. Import libraries. We use libraries like Streamlit, PyPDF2 and Langchain modules for embeddings, vector stores and QA chains. Hugging face embeddings for convert text into mathematical representation called 
embeddings. These embeddings are crucial for understanding the meaning of text and comparing chunks for relevance. Recursive character text splitter uses to break long document into smaller manageable chunks of text while maintaining the context. Basically, AI models work best with smaller focused piece of text. Splitting ensures the PDF content can be processed more effectively. Retrieval QA combines a retriever and a language model. A retriever to find relevant text chunks, then the language model to answer user question based on the chunk. Now, let's look into the functions. Create files vector store. This function processes a document's text to make it searchable using AI. Here what it does. First, it splits the text, breaks the document into smaller chunks of 1000 characters each with a 200 character overlap to preserve context. Then it creates embeddings, converts each text chunk into a numerical vector using hugging face all mini LM L6V2 model. These vectors capture the meaning of the text. Then it builds a searchable index. Store these vectors in a files index for fast similarity based searching. Then it saves the index, saves the files index locally so it can be reused later without recomputing. Load files vector store. This function loads a previously saved files vector store for reuse. It first load embedding model. Initialize the same hugging face embedding model used to create files index, ensuring compatibility. Then it loads the files index, reads the files vector store from the specified path using the embedding model to deserialize it. Then it returns the vector store. Build QA chain function creates a pipeline for answering user questions using a document's content. It first loads the vector store, then it sets up a retriever, converts the vector store into a retriever, which finds the most relevant chunks based on the user's query. Then it initializes the language model, loads the Llama model using the Olama integration to process and generate answers. Then it uses retrieval QA chain, it combines retrieval and QA, and finally it returns the QA chain. The function returns a complete question answering chain ready to use. We also use Streamlit to set up UI for uploading the PDFs and create a text box to enter the user prompt. To run the application, we can use the command streamlit run app.py. This launches the chatbot on localhost 8501. Now you can check with different PDF content. The chatbot's performance depends on your hardware. If you have GPU, the response time will be faster. On a CPU, the processing might take slightly longer. That's it for today's video. We have built a rag chatbot using Python, Langchain and Fice, all running locally without any external API keys. I have shared the complete code and step-by-step -step instruction in the description. Please check that and let me know if you have any issues during the setup. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to support the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.